Hi, my name is Steve Butler, and I found the perfect small group. It took some searching, but I found a group where I am a perfect fit. I am a small group of one. All right, let's get started. Uh, let's go around the room and get everyone's name. Okay. I know there are some people out there that think a small group of one is pointless, but for me, it just makes sense. I mean, there's no scheduling conflicts, no uh, embarrassing moments, and best of all, there's no personality issues. Open the eyes of my heart. Oh, someone's off. Open the eyes of my... I think that's me. That might be me. I want to see... Oh, yeah, it's me. It's me. I want to Have see... Have I tried other groups? Not technically, but I have thought about it a lot. It's just so risky. And imagine the kind of people you might get stuck with. In a small group of one, you don't have to worry about any uh, differentness. And that comes in handy when you're reading the Bible. If one falls down, his friend can help him up. But pity the man who falls and has no one to help him up. See, I think here, God is trying to tell us to be careful of tripping hazards. There are some downsides. Game night can be a little rough. Oh, oh Jenga! I always lose! Ah, oh, you guys are good. Being in a small group of one isn't perfect, but it is perfectly safe. And that's something. That something. And we pray these things in Jesus' name, and everybody says, Amen. Okay, guys, that's a wrap. Oh, so we're done? Yeah, that was good. Oh, uh, oh, you guys want some hot pockets or something? Uh, you stay a little while? No, no, we're done. No, seriously, I can order some pizza. I got, I got so many things, guys. Don't, don't go, don't go. I got, I got Jenga. I got Jenga. 